Further Objections and Responses in Natural Science One counterargument is that the hypothetical law called the emergent law of complexity can account for the origin of information in DNA. This argument is completely false. This explanation has several problems. Firstly, it has no empirical evidence. Secondly, it violates statistical thermodynamics. Thirdly, it violates information theory. Another counterargument is about the RNA world hypothesis. This argument is a red herring in regards to the information in DNA, since this hypothesis only explains what happens after the information is present. RNA still carries information. Another counterargument is about the presence of junk DNA. This argument is a red herring in regards to the information in DNA, since it presupposes the presence of information. Junk DNA still carries information. The junk DNA argument is used against those who seek to replace the evolutionary mechanisms and not the information in DNA. Another counterargument is the argument from bad design. This argument is a red herring in regards to the information in DNA since it only explains what happens after information is present. Mutations still carry information. The argument from bad design is used against those who use the argument from design in organs and not in information in DNA. Question. What does intelligent design theory refer to? Intelligent design theory refers to the argument from design in organs and seeks to replace the evolutionary mechanisms. When Charles Darwin formulated his theory of evolution by natural selection, the argument from design in organs became negligible. Intelligent design theory does not include fine-tuning. It does not include the information in DNA, and it does not include the cosmological argument. Another counterargument is that the spontaneous degeneration theory can explain the origin of information in DNA. This argument is completely false. The spontaneous degeneration theory contradicted the second law of thermodynamics. Another counterargument is about the protoplasmic view of life. This argument is completely false. Cytological studies revealed that substances are highly heterogeneous and revealed the relative cellular nucleus during cell division. Biochemical studies revealed the chemical complexity of the living cell. A single substance cannot be responsible for the transition from non-life to life. Another counterargument is about the prebiotic natural selection. This argument is a red herring since it presupposes the presence of information. Therefore, it provides no explanatory power for the information in DNA. The secular scientist Christian de Duve said the following, quote, Prebiotic natural selections need information which implies they have to presuppose what is to be explained. End of quote. Another counterargument is that biochemical predestination can account for the information in DNA using attraction. This argument is completely false. Differences in bonding affinity do not determine the arrangement of bases and cannot explain sequence specificity. Therefore, it cannot explain the information in DNA. Another counterargument is that fine-tuning is the result of physical necessity. This is completely false. There is no evidence for that physical necessity. The secular scientist Paul Davies said the following, quote, There is not a shred of evidence that the universe is logically necessary. End of quote. Question. Do all empirically supported cosmological models require a beginning? The answer is yes. All empirically supported cosmological models require a beginning. A model without empirical evidence is nothing more than make-believe. Another counter-argument is that natural science will figure out a materialistic explanation eventually in the future. This is an argument from ignorance, which is fallacious reasoning. If someone is going to claim that the God hypothesis has a lower epistemic probability right now, then it must be relative to something else. You need something to compare it with, or else the God hypothesis has to be selected as it is the only one available at this point in time. Another counterargument is that we do not know an explanation. This is closed-mindedness and being prejudiced against the God hypothesis. One possible explanation is the God hypothesis, and it must be taken into consideration if we are going to be open-minded and intellectually honest. Question. What are a few proposed explanations for the information in DNA? A few explanations for the information in DNA include 1. The panspermia hypothesis 2. 
spontaneous generation theory, and three, the God hypothesis. The panspermia hypothesis turned out to be inadequate, and the spontaneous generation theory turned out to be inadequate. By process of elimination, only the God hypothesis remains.